Hello everybody and welcome to this video where today we're going to talk about some serious shit here. So prepare. Whatever you have to do to prepare for serious shit, prepare. I have given you the warning. So what we're going to be talking about today is, I don't even know what I would call this thing. Um, I don't know a better way of putting this other than projecting your insecurities about your work and about yourself and projecting your self-doubt onto others. This has come up a lot over the last couple weeks and more so within the last few days. And whether it is talking with people from the Anarchy crew or whether it is dealing with people who I'm doing mentorship classes with or mentorship shit with, it comes up. And obviously, names will not be mentioned. I want to give you a couple examples of what I mean by this. So one person was telling me that they got accepted into a magazine. I was like, oh, that's fucking awesome. Good job, you know, the whole fucking thing. And they said, well, I was excited for a minute, but then realized that probably they just needed to fill some space. They probably didn't really like my stuff, but like they just, you know, like there was a reason, there was a necessity for it. And that is such a horrible way to think about stuff, and especially to think about your work that way. It's fucking poisonous, man. As someone who has edited many things, like, editors do not take stuff they don't like. They do not take stuff... They, they usually don't even take stuff they kind of like. They always take stuff that they want. And for most people... It's not even a thing like, oh, well, I like you as a person, so I'll take your stuff. It's like editors feel superior most of the time, okay? So in order to keep their superiority, they have to, like the things they choose for their publications have to be representative of what they like and what they feel, in order for them to be able to still think they're King Tut shit. You know what I'm saying? So no one's doing you any favors, okay? So if you have ever felt that the only reason why your stuff got picked up was because, like, the editor was in a bind, that doesn't happen, okay? That's what the slush pile is for. Like, the thing that editors have on hand of work that they kind of thought was okay, but... They weren't sure if they were going to use it or not, okay? And even then, the stuff that's in the slush pile is there because there's potential in that. They don't keep every fucking shit poem or whatever that fucking comes their way. So if you get accepted into something, celebrate that. Because there's a reason why you got picked. And it's not because they know you, and it's not because they feel sorry for you. It's because they like your fucking work. The second thing is, is there is a poet I've been talking to for quite some time, actually. Basically, every conversation I have with this poet lately has ended with, I know you probably don't want to read any more of my stuff, so blah, 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 blah. Or if, if you don't want to talk to me anymore, just let me know, you know? Like all of these weird, like, things. And the poet I'm talking about is kind of going through some shit right now. But because they are going through some shit and they feel about themselves that they don't want to deal with themselves, they don't want to deal with their work, they don't want to deal with any of this shit, that probably everyone they talk to doesn't want to fucking deal with that shit either. Again, if somebody likes your work, they're going to like your work. And it's not like one of these things where just one day because you're so depressed and there's so much like self-loathing going on that suddenly everyone in the world will at the same time decide that actually this poetry is awful. We actually don't like this poetry. After giving it another thought, we're not into this poetry anymore. That doesn't fucking happen, okay? 
And just as a friend, people who care about you care about you. Now, can your self-loathing start to annoy people to the point where they won't want to talk to you? That is something that could happen. Okay? But it's not because of how you feel. It's because you keep telling people, you know, you don't have to talk to me anymore. You don't have to, like, deal with my shit anymore. Okay? Like, your friends are going to want to help you as much as they can. Your friends are there for you. Okay? But just because you feel like shit about yourself, don't make your friends and the people who like your work feel like shit about it. Okay? That is projection. You are projecting those feelings and those thoughts onto other people to have about you. Okay? That is fucking poison, poison, poison. Just know, okay, when you are feeling this way and the thought comes in your head, this person probably doesn't want to talk to me anymore. This person probably doesn't like my poetry. This person probably only took my poetry because they need to fill fill space. Just know, when your brain tells you probably, it's a fucking lie and it's bullshit. So when the probabilities come, that's you projecting. So understand that. Because when we understand the reasons behind the things we do, it's easier for us to go, oh, this is that thing happening. I will quiet that down. Do you see what I'm saying? So hopefully this was helpful. The people who I used your shit to explain this, I hope it doesn't bother you that I did that. This the, the problems that you're having are problems that everyone has. So it's really important that we share and spread that shit around. Okay? Just so people can understand that they're not alone in feeling these this way. So that's it. That's all I got to say about it. Last Chance. Poems about Last Chance gas stations. It's out now at my Etsy shop. Pick that up. Black Market Blood Drive. It's out now on Amazon if you were interested in the vampire clan war pseudo erotica book I wrote. So other than that, keep buying my books, type hard everybody, and I will talk to you guys later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.